Steve Anthony was born on April 2nd, 1959 in Montreal, Quebec. Growing up in Montreal, he landed his first gig in the 80s at the local radio station CFOX AM. His rich on-air voice and charismatic presence enabled him to build an award-winning career that has spanned over three decades in some of Canada's most sought-after broadcast positions. In 1986, Q107 took him to Toronto as a radio afternoon show host. Much Music, which along with MTV, pioneered music video television in North America, and it was in 1987 that Steve began an unprecedented nine and a half year stint at Much Music as one of the founding VJs. Over the years to come, Steve continued to shine as a radio show host, sharing his gregarious personality on Toronto radio stops such as 102.1 CFNY, Mix 99.9, as well as CHOM 97.7 in Montreal. Beginning in March 2009, Steve started working at CP24 as a news reporter on the CP24 News Chopper. Shortly after that, Steve found his home on the team of CP24 Breakfast, helping to wake up Toronto with co-host Melissa Grello. Steve Anthony is a loyal supporter of the Toronto Hospital for Sick Kids and Rally for Kids with Cancer, plus many local and national charities. He believes that giving back is paramount, and he does so with a big heart. So Steve, I have a great surprise for you. No. <laughs> I'm, not good with, I'm not good with surprises. Sh I'm... Shall I cower in fear? No, no, you're going to love this okay. one. I've invited culinary nutritionist. Marnie Wasserman. What? To join us. Well, yes. How would you do that? You're a very powerful person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have my connections. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm fine with that. She's put together a salad recipe mm -hmm. that's just full of health benefits. Okay. It's energizing, anti inflammatory, bone strengthening, you, you, cholesterol lowering. You kind of lowered, you, you lost me at that part about energizing because I, I've been told that I should calm down. <laughs> are we, we going to be okay with this? Really, honestly. And lo and behold, it's soothing and calming oh, yeah, 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 as well. Okay. It's a yin and yang of this, energizing yeah, and soothing. Yeah. Okay, it's, a zen, it's a zen salad. I could say. <laughs> I do, and I'm on a mild medication called Crestor for I'm trying to figure out if the diet and things in my diet can actually replace that medication. So anything would help. Great to have you. Thank Thanks you. For Thanks for having me. me. Okay. Um, boy, so I'm nervous is... because this is going to be healthy. Yeah, we've got some veggies here. <laughs> okay. Have you worked with any of these veggies before? Well, may I try to identify them? Yes, Okay. please. Team seems to me, because of the color, these would be oranges. Is that correct? <laughs> Incorrect. What are they? Mm, why don't you try one and then tell me. Okay, let me try. That's a carrot. That's All a right. carrot. Okay. Boom. Yay! Um, yes. These Excellent. hard to tell. Um, will I know what this is by smelling it? Um, maybe. May I, I will give you two it? points for that if you guess it. I can't smell it. Taste it. Licorice. Um, uh, it's got a licorice flavor, but uh, it's actually uh, got a name as a vegetable. Um, 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 Starts with an F. Uh, fennel. You got it. Woo! Or finocchio in Italian, right? Well done. Well done. Thank exactly. you very much. Yes. Yeah, well done. Well done. And this would be, I know that's dill. This is dill? It's no. the top of the fennel, yeah. so. Oh, really? So it's not dill? It's, you can use it like it's dill. It's the part that really has the yeah. flavor. Okay, and this uh, obviously is a grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, a ruby red grapefruit. A ruby red grapefruit, yes. Wrong um, family. No, it is a peeled beet. Okay, it's a peeled beet. Yep. And I would not know what this is, um, except that I have... Uh, family that makes uh, pickles. Now this isn't pickling spice, is it? No. Okay. No. Nope. Close? Um, not quite because it's not a spice, it's a seed. It's actually a fruit. It's actually a <laughs> fruit, so it's not, ses it's not sesame. <laughs> Why am I being... Gonna help him. You're going to help me. If I get it wrong, you're going to walk away? It starts with an H. Uh, Ends with amp. Oh, amp? Hemp. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it's two syllables. First one is H, second one is M. Oh, good, okay. Well, and do you know what you want? What do I want? You get to eat the salad at the end of it. Okay, good. Thank you. It's eaten, but first well, you get to Otherwise, I throw you out of my house and I don't get to eat it, huh? Perfect. Then you can dump those on. It's going to add some crunch and some texture. Perfect. Oh. Then, well, first of all, is that? Sound look effects. at that. Look how beautiful Just that like is. Just like that, without doing anything? That, that doing anything. What did we Take do? Take them to a party and you yeah. say, I made this. You didn't have to toss <laughs> it. You have to toss it. Let the people toss it. Like, it's just great. As they yeah. eat it, you can toss yeah. it. Or you can toss it right yeah. now and let it marinate. Let's get some tongs. Okay. Yeah. And give that a toss. You're going to trust me? Well, you do. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're in charge. You're gonna I think I'm going to have to stand back again. Stand back, everybody. <laughs> Okay, you, you folks watching on television, step back. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a tip. You what? go in, yeah. yeah. Do a little twist. There you go. Really? There you go. 
Look how awesome. awesome. I have this adage, guys. I have this adage which is important to learn something new mm. each and every day. So I can just tell you now that I've covered about seven days worth of learning stuff and I'm tired. <laughs> oh, There's just too much learning. I'm exhausted. Good news is you get to be rewarded because okay. now you can eat some. Really? Yeah. Just like that? Just like that. Okay, yeah. okay before I eat this, would you give this some kind of um, is this culture? I was gonna say cultureless. Is this like like I, I keep thinking this is something like feels Asian-ish kind of thing? Um, fair to say or no? Not necessarily. It's just a fresh salad. Really, any mm. culture can eat it. Okay. Okay. Be more considered well. um, a whole whole food salads. Yeah. Okay. And it's a nice is there is, salad. is there a certain time? You know, people say comfort food in in the, in the fall and winter. Is, mm -hmm. this, is this any time of year? What's good about this salad is that it is an any time of year salad. It's perfect for the spring, summer, but in the winter time too because it's a marinated salad mm -hmm. and it sits in your fridge. You can pull it out and eat it whenever. So it's almost borderline. It's not fermented, but you let it sit and you marinate it, and then it's not necessarily so. Um, so raw, mm -hmm. so fresh. Because right. the longer these cruciferous vegetables sit, they kind of, you know, become a little bit. Uh, they break down and make it easier for you to digest. Mm. What you're, do you think? You're very proud of me. You know why? You know why? She's proud of me. Why? She said. She told me, "Do not chew with your mouth open. <laughs> There'll be people watching." And <laughs> how, how are you? You're doing. You're doing very well. You need very to chew well. a lot with this salad. Very so. well. I know. So with my mouth open. What but do you think? It's what do you wonderful. Think? It's, it's good. It is wonderful. And, and it's um, it's uh, it's it's got like all those flavors. I can taste all the flavors, and the crispness of it mm. is wonderful. Absolutely.